Hi, and welcome to the next edition of my vlog. This is a vlog that is based on the news and it provides free English lessons. If you like this vlog, please do subscribe to it. So, we start today, I'm afraid, in the only place where we can start, really, which was with the terrorist attack in the United Kingdom at the Ariana Grande concert in Manchester. Obviously, an absolutely terrible event. Um, so, it is the terrorist attack in Manchester, which we experienced in the UK on the evening of May the 22nd, that we are going to talk about first. The bare facts are that a terrorist walked into the entrance of a concert arena and blew himself up, killing more than 20 people and injuring many more. But I don't want to dwell or spend much time on the facts of the story itself. Instead, this week, I want to give some opinions because there are things about the response to these attacks which really get my goat or annoy me a lot. Let me explain. The standard response that we get from politicians and other figures in this country is along these lines, which means that they always say something like this. This isn't what Islam teaches. I know why they say this. They say it because they don't want to fan the flames in terms of intolerance. To fan the flames means to encourage something, in this case intolerance. I get this, which means I understand it. But the danger is that our politicians fail to recognise the danger that really is represented by some Islamic teachings. The problem is that the line that our politicians take, in other words, the things that they usually say, completely fails to recognise the dangers that come from a kind of Islam called Wahhabism or Salafism. The problem is that these forms of Islam, which are largely promulgated, which means spread or promoted, by clerics or religious figures from Saudi Arabia, do teach people that anyone that doesn't agree with their view, including other Muslims, should be considered an enemy. In my view, Western politicians need to confront this aspect of the religion head-on. To confront something head-on means to deal with it in the strongest way possible and also in an obvious way that doesn't hide the fact that you are doing so. Speaking of which, it is long since time that the West stop cozying up to Saudi Arabia. The expression long since time, that something should happen or not happen, means that it should have happened a long time ago. To cozy up to somebody in English is a phrasal verb meaning to be friendly towards somebody, or in this case the country of Saudi Arabia. It drives me nuts or makes me feel very angry when I see stupid things happening, like Donald Trump signing huge defence deals to help keep the Saudi government in power. So, that's it for our first story today. If you found that lesson useful, please subscribe to the vlog. Now, our second story today sounds like it has come from the world of make-believe. Uh, the realm or world of make-believe means a story that has been invented or created, a story that is not really true, although apparently this story is true. This story took place in Ethiopia. The first part of the story is, sadly, all too believable. A 12-year-old girl was snatched from her family 
by a gang who wanted to sell her into a forced marriage. A forced marriage is a marriage where a woman has no choice about who she marries. The men drove the poor girl into the desert where they savagely beat her with sticks. In this case, the verb to drive doesn't necessarily mean doing this. It means to force somebody to go somewhere that they don't want to go. So it could involve forcing them to go by car, or it could involve forcing them to go on foot, or by some other means. Savagely means to do something in a very bad, very violent way. So they beat her in a very bad way with sticks. But little did her tormentors know that they were being watched. Her tormentors are the people that were making her life a misery, the people that were tormenting her by hitting her with the sticks. Unbeknown to them, three lions were watching this event with disgust. Unbeknown to them means that they did not know it. The lions were watching with disgust. It means the lions hated what they saw. They were presumably appalled, very unhappy with what they saw. The lions elected to intervene, chasing off the three evil men and then staying at the scene to guard the girl until the police arrived to rescue her. So, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please subscribe. The next vlog will actually be in three weeks rather than two weeks because I will be on holiday for the next two weeks. Thank you very much for watching and see you all next time.